Shalom. I'd like to start by saying, Ka Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. This lesson is going to be titled, um, you know, basically keep watching, you know, keep watching or keep watch. Because, um, you know, like I said, like we all know, things are happening very quickly and we have to keep our eyes and our ears, you know, basically on um, high alert, right? We have to be aware because these devils, you know, Esau, Edom, you know, they, they know they don't have a long, a short, they have a short time, right? So they're pushing things quickly. So you have to be aware of everything, like on all sides, right? Uh, Exodus 23 and 13, and in, and in all things I have said unto you, be circumspect. And make no mention of the name of other gods, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. So circumspect, what does the word circumspect mean? He said in all things, be circumspect. Not in some things, not in little things, in all things, every single thing, be circumspect. Strong's H, 8104. Shamer. Shamer. Okay, he pronounces Shamer. Uh, to keep... Guard, observe, give heed, keep, have charge of, to keep guard, keep watch and ward, um, watch, watchmen. So watchmen are people that keep circumspect because they're always watching, they're always keeping guard, they're always observing, right? And circum actually means um, all around. Expect means observe. So it means to watch all around. So like when I used to play football, my coach used to say, um, keep your head on a swivel. Right? So you keep your head on the swivel, being circumspect, like a circle. Right? Circle. That's where the circum comes from, also. Right? Because circles is all around. If you see the, the, the shape, that makes more sense. Right? So I mentioned watchmen, because we are watchmen. We're always watching. We're always watching, always seeing what's going on. Because you can't ca get caught slipping. Isaiah 21, 6, For thus hath the Lord said unto me, Go set a watchman, and let him declare what he seeth. Right? Because watchman is supposed to, the Most High set up watchman, which is his um, prophets, the, the hopeful elect, and they're supposed to watch. They're supposed to watch and declare to the nations what's going on, right? To our people. Also the nations, because we're supposed to declare their wickedness, they're being wicked, who they are, right? But we're supposed to watch, see what we see, and then, and then tell everybody. Right, like a light, uh, lighthouse. You know, it was supposed to be that big light that sees everything. And you tell people when you know ships are coming in or whatever. You know, if you know how ships and lighthouse works, lighthouses work. Um, right. So we're gonna go to Ezekiel three and seventeen. Ezekiel 3 and 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word of word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Right? So like he just said, right, we're supposed to be, he set up as a watchman for the house of Israel. Right? We're supposed to warn Israel when danger is coming because we have the truth. Right? The hope of the light. And we're supposed to warn them from the Most High. The Most High is telling you to warn them from me. Right? So, you know, you're supposed to tell the people, even though you know they're not going to listen, you're still supposed to tell them the truth, right? Because now that blood's not on your hands anymore. Also, you're supposed to uh, declare their wickedness too, not just Israel, but everybody's. You know, if they're Edomite, tell them, you know, you're Edomite, you're going to slavery. This is why, because you guys were wicked, et cetera, et cetera. Ezekiel 33 and 1. I'm going to read up to 12. Again, the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came unto me, saying, Son of man, speaking to the children of thy people, and say unto them, Oh, Slakia, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast, and set him for their watchmen, if when he seeth the sword 
come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, right? So that's what he's supposed to do, right? Right? That's his job. So blow the trumpet, blow the horn, blow the alarm, and warn the people what's coming, right? Uh, verse 4, Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. So there you go. So if the watchmen, who are the hopeful elect, the ones that are on, on the highways and byways, and also in their videos, or in your daily lives, you know, um, if we as hopeful elect tell somebody what's coming and they didn't listen to us, hey, the blood is on their own head, Right? That's the blood's not on your hands. You told them what's coming. You told them, you know, when it's co like, well, how it's coming, what you see. And you told them whether they want to listen or not. That's not on you. The blood's not on your hands. So don't get guilt. Don't feel guilty about it. If someone, you told someone the truth and they didn't listen. Right. You can't save them. You know, the, they have the less, they have to save themselves, you know, through the power of Yahweh Shem El Shai. Right. Um, verse five. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul, right? But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So basically, if you see if you see danger as someone that's in a man that's in the truth, and you don't blow the trumpet, you don't tell people, right? Right? You don't warn them. And the sword comes, right? And someone gets taken by the sword. They get killed, right? Now they're taking in their own iniquity because they're, they're being wicked, right? But the blood, the most I require the blood from your hand, right? He's required the blood from you. So you're guilty of it. The blood's on you, on your, on your hands, right? So that's why you're supposed to warn them no matter what. Even if you, you know they're not going to listen, you're supposed to tell them because at the end of the day, you don't really know if they're going to listen or not. You have no idea. Right, basically, um, actually, I'm gonna come back to this cloak. I always spell this wrong. Actually, it's okay. No. Okay, John fifteen and twenty two. If I had not come in and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin, right? So that's why you're supposed to warn them, right? If they have no, when you warn them, they have no cloak for their sin. So now they the blood's on their own hands. So they have to do the right thing now, because they can't be like, oh, ignorance is bliss. I oh, I didn't know. I didn't know, right? Because technically, if they didn't know, the Most High can't really get them, right? You can't get them because they have to know. They have to be told. Because Most High is all about balance. He's all about, you know, balance. So he will let you know. Now, whether you do the right thing, that's on you. But he will let you know. Right? But as a watchman, that's your job. You're supposed to tell the people. Right? You're supposed to tell the people so they have no cloaks for their sins. You're doing the Most High's work. You have, to, you have to weed out the people that are trying to hide in their sins. In that cloak. That wicked cloak. That Harry Potter cloak. If you watch the movie Harry Potter, right? Hiding from everybody. You're not going to hide from the Most High. He's going to get you. He sees everything. And we're doing his job, so we have to, we have to tell the people. Um, okay, so I was at... Okay... Okay, verse 7. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word of at my mouth and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way. So you have to warn the wicked. Even if you're being wicked, you still got to tell them, like, yo, what you're doing is wrong. Okay, stop doing it. This is why, you're, this is why it's wrong. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. So basically the scripture I just read. So no matter whether they're Israel, or if they're Israel and they're being wicked, or if they're the heathens, right? 
You still got to tell them. Right? So you got to tell them anyways. And most times coming only coming from Israel anyways. He's only coming from Israel. So it's really Israel. So it's only the wicked within Israel, the two thirds. Right? So you got to weed out the one third out of them. But you have to tell them the truth. Right? So they don't have a cloak for their sins. Because only Israel is the one that can sin anyways. Right? So we have the truth. But you're also supposed to tell the nations who they are. Right? You're supposed to tell Esau he's wicked, you know, who he is, who their who their nationality is and everything like that. But that's not what this is really talking about. It's talking just specifically about Israel. Because it says right here in verse 7, So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Not the house of the world, not the house of Japhet, not the house of Ham, you know, not the house of uh, Ammon or these um, or of Esau. It's the house of Israel. So we're always supposed to warn Israel because they're the only ones who can sin, right? Because they have to have you have to have the truth to sin. The commandments, law, statutes, and commandments. <clears throat> now the other nations are going up, but they're just heathens. So that's just who they are. Okay. Okay, I'm going to read from nine. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Right? So even Esau, right? Now, you obviously have to warn the, the wicked Israelites, but even Esau. doesn't mean just because you warn him, he's, gonna, he's Esau. Edom's not going to change. They're not going to change. They're, they're, just, they're the wicked. That's who they are. Right? Now, if it's an Israelite and you warn him and he changes... Okay, you know he delivered his soul, right? And if he doesn't change, like it says, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered his soul. Yeah, you still deliver his soul. You deliver his soul to the Most High and to the angels because of the reap. They're coming to reap. <laughs> you delivered his soul, right? Um, there's a harvest that's coming. You know, so you have to make deliveries. I mean, Ezekiel 33 and 10, therefore... O thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel. Thus ye speak, saying, It are transgressions, and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them. How should we live then? How should we then live? Say unto them, As I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, I have no pleasure in death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? Therefore thou, son of man, say unto the children of thy people, The righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression. Okay. As for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall thereby in the day that he turneth from his wickedness. Neither shall the righteous be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he sinneth. Right. So that's why being a watchman is very important. It's very, very important, right? Because that's our job. We're supposed to tell the people. Right? So the point is, is that as being a watchman, once you tell, you have to do your job. You need to tell the people, you know, right? And the main point was that nine, you know, everything else is a little bit going to something a little bit different. But the main thing is that, like, being a watchman, you have to tell the people when they're going off. You have to tell them. Right? Right? Because, like you said, you're marking these people so they don't have a cloak for their sins. So they're making them naked. So most, most I can see them. Oh, okay, there you are. Even though he can see them, but you know what I mean? It's making it the ignorance is bliss type of cloak. Right? So I hope this lesson was edifying. Um, you know, the mark of the beast, do not take the RFID chip. Right, those are the times we're in right now. So just be be circumspect, be um watching, right? Actually, and there was one more thing I wanted to do. I'm gonna go into Word. Actually cancel that. Before I close. Okay, so you see watchmen. To look out or about spy. So spy, what does a spy do? Spy, mid-13th century, to watch stealthily. 
So, to watch stealthily, observe, watch closely, spy on, find out. So, a spy, right, is also a watchman. So, we're spies of the Most High, right? Supposed to be watching stealthily to what's for what's coming. Observe, watch closely, spy on. You got to spy on these wicked elites. They can't hide our plans from us or their plans from us, right? So, we're supposed to, you're supposed to get intel, you know, information. Bring that, that deep, deep intel and, and bring it to the people, Right? Because what you're getting is the truth. Because you're getting it from their, the, the deep intel of their plans and what they're going to do. Right? Because you're watching it. And the Most High is revealing it to you. The Most High is really giving it to his elect, his hopeful elect, to have those, that ability to see what's coming. All right? Now, your job is just to tell the people, right? Whether they turn from their iniquities or not, that's not, your, that's not your, like, you don't control that. Your job is just to tell them. If you don't tell them, then the blood's on your hands. But if you do tell them the blood's not on your hands anymore, you wash your hands from it. Don't feel guilty about it, whether what happens to them. That's not your business to feel guilty about that. So keep doing the work. Keep being a spy of the Most High. So I, like I said, I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, call halal Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash, to put honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, death and destruction to his wicked kingdom, and the two thirds as well. Kwam Yasharala, Baal Shalom.